Hi friends, my name is Debbie Leibowitz and I welcome you to Storytime A Go-Go. I usually do Storytime A Go-Go at the Abbott Public Library in Marblehead, Massachusetts, but lately I've been doing it from my home. Today I have a very special book to read to you. It's special because the story is special and it's special because the author of the story, the person who wrote the story, is a special friend of mine and she said she would love me to read her story to you today. The name of the story is Jack and Me, The Love Story of a Miracle Boy and His Best Friend by Katie Riley. And Katie Riley is one of my best friends and she wrote this story and I'd love to share it with you right now. Before we do, I want you to pretend that you are the boy in the story, telling the story, okay? Before we do that, this first page says, to magical will, every moment of every day, I treasure you. I love you higher than the sky. You are my best friend, your grandma, Katie Riley. Katie Riley, the author of this story, wrote the story for her grandson named Will. Let's go back to the front of the book and I'll show you a picture of Will. This is Will. And she said that she loves Will higher than the sky. How high is that? Can you make your hands and your arms go higher than the sky? Good job. I'm going to Try that too, way up high, higher than the sky, way up high. Wow, I feel like I'm touching the sky. That's how much Katie Riley loves her grandson, Will, way up higher than the sky. Do you think that's a lot of love? I think it's a lot of love too. Okay, now you all Will the boy. And you're telling this story. Here we go. My mom and dad told me there would be a dog at my house when I got home from the hospital. So there's baby Will with his mom and dad. And they, what did they tell him would be, home, would be waiting for him when he got home from the hospital? Yes, a dog. I didn't know what a dog was, but they told me his name was Jackson. So now we know the name of the dog is Jackson. Look at Jackson's hat. Have you ever seen a dog wear a hat before? It looks like a funny, nice little hat. Let's pretend we're a dog and we're putting a hat on. Come on, ready? How would a dog put a hat on? Maybe with his paws? I think it wouldn't be easy. Maybe a person would put it on, and I would say, oh, thank you, person, for putting on the hat for me. But I would have to say in a dog voice, thank you for putting on a hat for me. Can you do that? Oh, yes, yeah, some of you are going roof, roof, and bow, wow. That was a good thing to say, too, if you were a dog, with a hat on especially. Let's see what happened next in the story. When my mom is busy, Jackson watches me every minute. He never takes his eyes off of me. And there's Jackson the dog, and there's baby Will. Look how tiny baby Will is. And Jackson's close by. And Katie Riley, the author, said that Jackson never takes his eyes off of baby Will. And that means he's watching him the whole time. They look like they might be best friends, don't you think? Well, that's what it says right here. It says, he's my good friend. And there's baby Will with Jackson, his good friend, staying close by him. Look how Will is kind of curled up like babies do with his arms to one side. Let's try to be like baby Will in that picture all curled up and cuddly, like maybe this way with our arms over here. 
Sure, you put your arms over here. You're just a little cuddly little baby, just like baby Will. When I have my picture taken, Jackson tries to smile the same way I do, and that makes me laugh. Look at Jackson smiling. I've never seen a dog smile before, have you? Oh, some of you have? That's so interesting. And look at baby Will. He's smiling a lot and it looks like he is laughing because Jackson's trying to smile. Baby Will doesn't really look too much like a baby anymore. He looks like he's growing up. Just like you and you and you. And all of you are growing up. Sometimes Jackson takes a nap on the couch with me. I love to snuggle with him. They look very comfortable together, don't they? Have you ever snuggled with a dog? Oh, some of you snuggle with a cat? Let's pretend we're Will. And we're snuggling right up close with Jackson. Almost feels like Jackson could be kind of like a blanket. He's so soft, isn't he? What a nice big dog. Let's go this way. Mm, so comfortable together. I really like this picture. I'll show it to you one more time. I love to take Jackson to the beach and throw the ball to him. When he brings it to me, I pat him and say, good boy, Jackson, good boy, and that makes him happy. Let's pretend we're Will and Jackson at the beach. We're going to throw the ball to Jackson, okay? So get your ball. and you're gonna, Should we throw it far? Okay, let's throw it far. Here comes Jackson with it. Here comes Jackson. Okay, and just like Will, we can pat him and say, good boy, Jackson, good boy. He brought the ball back. How would a dog bring a ball back if somebody threw it? Yeah, he would, you're right, I, I think so too. He would hold it in his mouth. I don't think he would hold the ball in his paws. Then it would be hard for him to walk or run back, right? When the car is in the driveway, Mom lets Jack and me sit in the front seat, just for fun. One day I'll be able to drive, but not Jackson. Dogs can't drive. They're just sitting there, right, waiting for Mom to come to the car. Boy, Will sure is growing up, isn't he? You're right. Jackson looks like he's growing up, too. When I go to nursery school, Jackson always kisses me goodbye. I like his kisses and I hug him too. I kiss Jackson with my lips, but he kisses me by licking me with his tongue. At first it felt yucky, but now I love his kisses. That's the way dogs kiss with their tongues all over mouths, right? When I ski, Jackson is always with me. He makes me feel safe. There's Will skiing. What time of year is that? It's winter, there's snow on the ground. It looks like Will might just be learning to ski. And look at Jackson standing really pretty close by Will. Why do you think he's doing that? In case Will falls, Jackson can be right there to help him. Oh, maybe if Will's about to fall, Jackson can kind of go like this and nudge him like this so that he won't fall. Sometimes we golf together. 
I caddy for Jackson and Jackson caddies for me. That's funny. Do you know what caddying means? If you're a caddy when you go golfing, it means you carry the golf clubs to help the other person who's golfing. So it looks like Jackson and Will are taking turns carrying the golf clubs and the golf ball for each other. Do you like to golf? Let's pretend we're golfing too. We have our club in our hand and we swing it and swing it to hit the ball. Let me move this. So we're going to swing to hit the ball. That's great. You did a good job. At night, I tuck my head behind Jackson's legs. It feels so cozy, and I fall asleep. That really does look like the coziest pillow I've ever seen. How about you? Sweet dreams, Jack. I wonder if Jack is thinking of saying sweet dreams to Will, too. Who is Jack? Yes, Jack is a short name, a nickname for the dog named Jackson. So sometimes Will likes to call him Jackson, and sometimes Will likes to call him Jack. But you know what? I think right now we should get a little quiet, shh, because they're both sleeping, and I bet they're both having sweet dreams. Shh. Let's be quiet while we turn the next page. My hair is the same color as Jackson's. My mom says, we are both goldens. Will has a funny mom, you know why she says they're both goldens? The kind of dog that Jackson is, is a golden retriever. Can you say golden retriever? That's the kind of dog that Jackson is. He's a golden retriever. And Will's hair, is sort of like the same color as Jack's fur. So Will's mother says they're both goldens. Some days we just go out and sit on the grass and talk. Jackson is a good listener. It's nice to have a pet that you can just sit and talk with. And I wonder what Will is saying to Jack. What do you think Will is saying? What do you think they're talking about? Talking about the nice day? That's a good idea. Talking about what they might do next? Talking about that they're both hungry? Maybe they are. I wonder what they'll both be eating. What do you think Will would want to eat? Candy? And what do you think Jack would want to eat? Probably dog food. Yes. When I go on my scooter, Jack stays beside me. I wear a helmet. I wish Jackson wore a helmet too. And there they are. Will's on his scooter. I'm glad Will's wearing a helmet. Helmets are good to wear in case you fall off your scooter, you know, and you bump your head. It, it will protect your head. It would be funny, though, if his dog was wearing a helmet too. That would be funny. Let's pretend we're on a scooter. Come on. Put your helmets on and hold on and you're scootering around, scootering around. I'm scootering around my kitchen chair, coming over. Here we go. That was fun. Let's take our helmets off. We don't really want to wear our helmets inside.
Sometimes we go outside and watch for squirrels. We have to be quiet. Why do you think they have to be quiet if they're watching for squirrels? Yeah, they don't want to scare the squirrels away. I think golden retriever dogs like to watch and maybe run after squirrels a little bit. on this page. There are only words. They're great words. Let me read them to you. I love my adventures with Jackson. I think everyone should have a best friend just like him. And here's something really special on one more page. It says right here, the end. It says it in a heart. And whose prints do you think these are? I think they're Jackson's prints, too. And that's the story called Jack and Me, The Love Story of a Miracle Boy and His Best Friend by my best friend, Katie Riley. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed reading it to you and spending this time with you. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Storytime Agogo. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. And thanks, Katie. Love you.